he's just a master of torture. I don't know what war this guy was a veteran of, but man, that pain from that war is coming through. Hey everyone, and welcome to Movie Telephone. If you don't already know, Telephone is the game where you whisper a message to someone, they repeat as much as they can remember to someone else, then that person does it again, and so on and so forth until you run out of players. My name is Ryan Larkin, and I am here with four Tongle creators to see what this game does to a 30 second movie plot synopsis. The movie we are talking about today is Fede Alvarez's Don't Breathe, which is a seriously creepy horror film from 2016 that has a sequel coming out this year. Yeah, I remember the ads back in like 2016. It was like people trying to rob like an old man and then he like was like hey i'll kill you <laughs> exactly I mean, yeah fair fair response <laughs> it, it also stars the villain from avatar are they in the same universe or is it just no, the no, same no. actor it, it's the actor it, like, <laughs> oh, the okay. I, I didn't know if we were like mcu here or something okay all right uday here we go the protagonists of Don't Breathe are Rocky, Alex, and Money, three Detroit-based delinquents who burglarize the homes of wealthy people. The gang sells its stolen goods on the black market, but the payouts aren't very good. Rocky in particular is frustrated by this because she wants to earn enough money to escape her abusive home life. One day, Money gets word about a blind veteran who won a $300,000 cash settlement following the death of his only child in a car accident. Figuring he's an easy target, the trio waits until nightfall and invades the man's secluded home in an abandoned neighborhood. However, the robbery goes wrong when a loud noise wakes their supposedly helpless victim up. The blind man shoots and kills Money, and upon finding Rocky and Alex's shoes, he begins to hunt them down by sound alone. I feel like I've forgotten all of the details, but I get the gist of it. I was watching Uday's face, and he was... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a terrible premise, like, not uh, terrible as in it's a bad premise, terrible as in, like, what's happened to the people in the context of this movie is terrible, like, I feel uh, so bad for them. So, there are three Detroit-based delinquents that break into the homes of wealthy people and burgle their households. One of them is named Rocky, and she's trying to save up enough money to escape her abusive home. One day, we're all oh right. They they sell these things on the on the store on the black market, but like the returns aren't that good. So one day, rumor comes around of a blind veteran who received a three hundred thousand dollar cash settlement after the death of his only child. So they decide to break into his house and steal his money, and then a loud noise wakes him up and he shoots and kills one of the people that doesn't matter. And then cut, Rocky cut, 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 him. cut, oh cut. No. That's it. <laughs> That wasn't bad, Uday. That wasn't bad. That was pretty coherent. I was able to, like, yeah, I could digest it. I might have to make up the ending, but I think I, I, think I probably got, <laughs> this I is, probably got the, the gist. This is what happened with The Conjuring. All right, let's hear what this is all about. So there's three Detroit delinquents, and they're, like, going around houses, and they're stealing stuff. One of them's name's, like, Rocky or something. and But they're not making a lot of money from stealing stuff and reselling it on the black market or whatever they're doing. And so then they find out about this old guy who's like an old blind veteran. He got a $300,000 cash settlement from one of his kids dying. So then they break into his house, but then things go upside down. He shoots one of the kids and then he's, he locks the other kids in the basement and he's gonna torture them and- Cut, that's cut, pretty cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty straightforward, all right. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> okay. In a world in Detroit, Michigan, Three delinquents are robbing houses, trying to pull in stuff so they can sell on the black market, but it's not really that lucrative. So they hear about this veteran guy who's blind and they and they hear that he has a $300,000 settlement from, I guess, one of his kids dying. Anyway, it's a lot of money. Um, they try and break into his place, but he is very, very well prepared. He shoots one of them and locks the other two kids in the basement, and he's just a master of torture. I don't know what war this guy was a veteran of, but man, that pain from that war is coming through. Cut. It's coming through on these delinquents. <laughs> okay. okay, not what I was expecting. I feel like that's the hallmark of great cinema. Um, I'll see what I can do. It's in Detroit, Michigan, and there's these three kids, and they really want to rob something because they need money for something. And there's this guy, um, and he's blind, and he lives in a house that has $300,000 in it. They go in, and they're all gonna get all of his money, but then he comes back at them because he's like a war veteran, and you don't mess with this guy, and at least one of them dies, and then the other two get out happily ever after. <laughs> I, I, I feel like there were some liberties taken with the ending, but I love it. Well, it kind of ends somehow. Yeah. 
it's got this guy has Everything to be an ending. Everything needs an ending, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. April, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the like and subscribe right now because like I want to green screen you into the Don't Breathe house with the creepy <laughs> killer guy coming up behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail face. Let's go. Let's go.